As many countries transition to post-pandemic phases, Caritas Internacionalis and the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development are collaborating closely to provide material support to local communities while helping shape a new future with human dignity at its core. At a press conference addressing this task, Aloysius John, Secretary General of Caritas Internacionalis, explains how in many countries the crisis has become a unifying force among previously divided people. And in a country, for example, like Pakistan, where there is zakat for the Muslims and Christians are left out, so we're not going to help only the Christians, but we're going to help everybody, and that becomes a source of dialogue and call for a dialogue. At the top of the church's priority list is safeguarding the most vulnerable, including women, children, and migrants. In Brazil and Peru, the church is particularly focused on helping indigenous populations. To face such wide-ranging needs, a team effort is necessary, as Cardinal Peter Turkson points out. But the point is this, that we need to face this together and try to build a system of solidarity which ultimately will help. Time, you know, we pray to God if there's ever a vaccine that can help us get out of this, that this be done equitably so all of us can emerge out of this. For as long as there's one incident of COVID, we still must say. The Cardinal says the objective is to prepare a future that fully integrates the human person, so the person is never just an afterthought. So, 